What's up? What are we doing? Yeah. We are going to go and talk to Peter Kago. He's the chief winemaker of Penfolds. I'm gonna to talk to him about how he's feeling. So I'm gonna talk about what this means to him. You know, is this a milestone in your career? This event, this launch is probably the biggest thing that Penfolds has done in many years. There have been a few milestones, a few wines created, a few things that have happened for Penfolds that have been really, really big deals. But this is a very, unusual, interesting, monumental piece of history for Penfold and, and for, I would imagine, for, for Peter. I just wanted to sit down and talk with him and see, you know, what does it feel like to be a piece of such a big history? Because Penfold is, it is the biggest, most iconic wine brand in Australia and in the world. What does it feel like to not only be a part of this, but to spearhead and to be in charge of this and to be the, be the name and the face that people are gonna remember when they think about, about this big release and I know for me, I'm a little bit overwhelmed in, in, the, in the best way possible. This is a journey that I never expected or could even dream that I would take. And I have to imagine that Peter is feeling the same way. So Peter, thank you so much for sitting down with me. We alone in the city. crushed it and found the greatest coffee shop, not only in Hong Kong, but in the world. Norby, you have a latte? Actually, roll gratuitous slow-mo footage, please. <laughs> But I can't help it, no. This is delicious. This is an old-fashioned, co coffee old, coffee old-fashioned with caramelized orange, house-made bitters, and grapefruit. Actually, you should try this. Uh, you should try this. Also, we, we need to explain how this works. So, this is coffee. This is coffee, spherical ice cube, and then they gave us this milk on the side to pour over top of it. It just melted. Oh, that's brilliant. This is the... I don't even know how to explain this. Like, not even close to being. It's like thing. a cocktail. Yeah, more like a cocktail. I, mean, I don't even know how you would find a place like this. This is in. Are we in Soho? Skill. These guys are cool though. They're uh, two twins that own this place. They went to UCLA, and it's this little coffee shop like on a side street. It was actually, it was up those stairs behind us. So you kind of have to like come around a corner, come up these stairs. It's hidden up here, but it's really, really cool inside. This is probably the best coffee I've ever had, that's, or at least the most interesting. That's, that's a statement. I like that. I've Glass. never had anything. It's almost, it's like drinking a, a cocktail but without booze, which at 3 o'clock in the afternoon is actually kind of nice. Soho is more of like that, more like Soho in New York. It's a little cooler, hipper. It's where some of the shopping is. It feels more hip, feels more trendy, it feels younger. It doesn't feel so. Yeah. It's like it feels mo like movement, movement everywhere. It feels like people live here. It feels like this is where everyone kind of congregates. It's crazy because the city is so big and it looks very busy and it's chaotic and it's hectic but this spot here is really quiet and I've noticed that as we've been like going around there's little pockets where it just seems very quiet and tranquil and we went to Yard, well I went to Yardbird last night to have dinner with a couple of friends who are in Hong Kong ironically and I think you guys are going to go tonight but it has the best yakitori I've ever had and then we went around the corner down the street and like it's in this neighborhood and we went to this other craft cocktail bar so this city not only gives you like these insane michelin starred experiences and has all of the wine you could ever possibly want but then there's these really interesting other kind of kitschy places mm. oh yeah it's food arrived oh yes oh. all right let's eat before it gets cold all right rolling i see you in the ink crowd
It's time! We are heading to the event. Narby's finishing an edit. It's been a little crazy trying to get ready in a short amount of time, but thankfully I had that glam squad to kind of take care of business. Now we get to finally have a little bit of fun. We get to do the reveal. This is very exciting. A little sneak peek, you think? Oh, Norbert. You are truly a talented young man. If you want to see the full video, the full video will be out later, and there's lots of Instagram posts, as always, which I hope you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! All right, here we go. Why are you watching the ground? Why are you acting so nervous? Do you feel it now? Because I can't let it go. You run my brain, you run my mind. This could be what we've been trying to find. Cause every second I'm not with you. I be thinking about you, dreaming about you, thinking it's our time, we've got nothing to lose. So 